Well, here's a good current issue. Uh, Should we have COVID passports? Well, access to many group activities is increasingly being uh, restricted to those with COVID passports. Vaccination is required for entry into most foreign countries for tourists, business travel. Even entry to bars and nightclubs are increasingly requiring such documentation. But many believe passionately that this is wrong, unfair, and unacceptable. Others believe uh, (laughs) it is an essential step toward protecting the public and defeating the worst effects of the epidemic, which has been pretty terrible. This is why the government of the day just keeps changing its mind about how strict to be in this area. Good grief. (laughs) As usual, I look at both sides. Okay, first of all, yes, we should. Yes, we should have COVID passports. Well, look, resistance to COVID passports is one more ill-advised move on the part of those opposing vaccinations. The simple fact is that vaccinations work, as has been proven for the last century. That's the fundamental argument in favor of them. It's also undeniable that the vast majority of those who die from COVID infections are unvaccinated. To oppose proof of vaccination is just simply denial. In any case, I have the uh, NHS app on my phone, which records the vaccinations which I've received and when I received them. Uh, That app can be used as proof of vaccination for entry into most foreign countries. So do the opponents of passports want to remove that app from my phone? They're not going to get it. (laughs) Okay, how about those that say, no, we should not. There are quite a few arguments here. Well, first of all, I suppose most fundamentally, forcing me to require a passport and indirectly a vaccination in order to embark upon important functions in my life impinges on my liberty and violates my civil rights. Next, uh, since there are many people who have chosen not to, and since many such people are in minority groups, Barring entry to any place uh, to those without passports is therefore discriminatory and further exploitative of inequality in our our society. Passports may also discourage vaccination since uh, testing is often seen as an alternative to actually getting the shots. And for many, even getting the shots is a burden, just the travel involved. Uh, Vaccinated people can at times carry the COVID virus. In in this sense, it becomes a safety risk in in that gatherings requiring a passport can easily engender a false sense of security. Uh, Passports may well be easy to forge, uh, both digitally and on paper. Uh, This could uh, exacerbate an unwise alternative to testing. And uh, requiring passports and vaccinations may even be in violation of the dreaded employment law, uh, where this is required for someone to keep his or her job. All in all, all in all, it may not be as simple as it seems, and requiring passports may cause more problems than were obvious in the first place, and in several ways it is also unfair. Well, there's some pretty good arguments. Uh, What's my take on it? Okay, here's my take. It's an open and shut case. COVID has had a devastating and distressing effect on the world economy, on every nation, and on our individual lives and our ability to enjoy them. Anything we can do to lessen its impact and to diminish the likelihood that it will continue uh, is not only desirable, but absolutely essential. Anyone who stands in the way of this is doing a great disservice to his fellow man by not embracing scientifically grounded tools like this. Get a vaccination and get your passport. Well, I hope you like that. I'm sure some of you won't, but if you did, please uh, do the usual. Give me a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.